What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Crystal Palace Crew Mode. This is episode number 29 and at the end of last episode we left ourselves on a bit of a sort of cliffhanger sort of thing with the deals for Daily Blind and also uh, Ramirez left uh, unaccepted. They've both said they wanted 12.5 uh, million and 18.5 million for Messi players. But unfortunately that does mean it kind of dips above how much I actually have. So I'm going to try and bring down Daily Blinds price because he's the player, a player I would, I would prefer to have because I do kind of prefer him in this game. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to offer 12 million for him and then I'm going to try and push uh, for some more money from the board again. But I'm going to try and get Blind first and if I can try and get some more money out of the board I will try and sign Ramirez after. But in before then, we have our game against Aston Villa. Several players are going to be making their debuts in this game. We have Aubameyang making his debut. We also have David Luiz making his de uh, capacity debut, debut. And of course, as so far, those are the only signings we have made. We have two players making their debuts. Both of them have going to make a massive impact, I am sure. But hopefully, come the game afterwards, we'll have two new players in our team as well. So, game against Villa. Let's go. Okay guys, here we go, first game of the season up against Aston Villa, a game which in all fairness should be a win, three points in the bag, and they are a good team Villa in the game, I will admit that, and last, last like few episodes ago we played them at the end of the previous season, and I believe they actually managed to pick up a draw, I think it was nil-nil as well, we got Aubameyang making his debut, he's from Gabon, he's cost us £35 million, so he's got a lot of reputation to uphold but I'm sure he'll be a ma massive signing and it will be a great success this season but let's go into the game and let's find out all right Aston Villa on the attack here we just about, just about kept that in as a Marvy we're up against him and we've given away a corner in the first four minutes Villa making the first big attack of the game I haven't touched the ball yet apart from that clearance can we clear this corner and get onto the counter goodbye gets on the end of it here comes Giroud can't get the ball through to Aubameyang I need to use his pace when he's in the team. Feeds in Kabai. Obviously I haven't got much pace on the wings anymore now that Zaha has gone. But I can whip it in still. Keeper clears it. It's fallen to McCarthy. Good first touch. And it's a poor shot at the end of it. Right, here comes Villa again. They've got Carlos Gil on the right hand side. It's cutting inside but I, can't, I don't want to risk tackling him here. It's a good tackle from Stones right there. Brilliant tackle. And we're against us on the counter here. We've got the pace of Aubameyang up against Clark. He should leave him for dead here. Good play, it's very good play. Cross goal, Deli Ali puts us 1-0 up. Fantastic run of play here, Aubameyang making an assist on his debut within 23 minutes. A fantastic counter attack right here from an Aston Villa attack. Aubameyang with his pace is lethal towards defenders, leaves Clark for dead. And Deli Ali is able to sweep home and give us a 1-0 lead. Fantastic start to the season. Good to Aubameyang, great control. Through to Friars. It's a good ball in. Aubameyang with the header. But Baraguzan managed to smother it in and just on the brink of half time. It's been a solid first half and that is the end of the first half as well. It's half time. We're doing really well actually at the minute. We're dominating possession in my opinion. And we've created a few more good chances. Aubameyang with an assist on his debut. Getting that header at the end of the first half as well. And it's been a solid start. Let's just carry on and just keep it up. All right. Good ball over Kabai. Good control. So we get around the defender. That's too easy. It's a good cross. And Giroud just headers it over the bar. It should have been 2 0. He had an open header. And Giroud putting way too much power into this. And just goes over the bar, which should have been a goal. All right, two goal Bamiang. Fantastic turn. Look at the pace. He's got the finish. What a brilliant goal to score on your debut, that's from Aubameyang from the throw-in. Cuts inside, he's behind his shirt pulled, he's running through, his pace is unreal. He just walks through defenders, and that is one hell of a finish. Alright, oh, come Villa. It's a good play, he's sweated it. Oh my god, I've just seen the computer sweat it. What have I just seen? Both centre-backs being caught completely out of position right there. And it's a sweaty goal from the computer. I've never seen that. Well, I've seen it a few times, but I've never seen it so often. And that has just shocked me. 
It's 2-1, and before we carry on, we're going to make a few substitutions. 73rd minute in, going to be a tight conclusion to the game. No one's really strong for fitness, really. It's been a pretty easy game. I'm going to bring on Jordan Much from MacArthur. Hopefully by the next by the next game we'll have Blind and maybe maybe even Ramirez in there as well. Fryers is a little bit tired as well, so I'm going to bring on Mbemba to play on that left hand side. That might be the defense we play with normally anyway. Oh god, I'm being caught out. It's two two. I've been torn apart again, and Aston Villa have their win tail in their. What's the phrase? They have so much confidence going forward right now and they've scored two goals from two attacks both defenders being caught out John Stone's there David Luiz there and it's such an easy finish he's lying down Spironi does everything he can but he's nothing he can do about that going through him and it's 2-2 and I've got to score again go on yes there it is 3-2 Deli Ali scoring again, a great run of play here, and almost instantly after conceding the equaliser, we have gone 3-2 up. Fantastic run of play here, ball through into Giroud, back to Deli Ali right there, Aubameyang making the space. And that is a great goal, all three of the attacking players making their mark on that. And we're 3-2 up. Full time whistle has blown, we've managed to pick up three points. Such a hard way of doing it, we were 2-0 up, we would peg back to 2-2. But Deli Ali scoring an equal, scoring a winning goal. Two goals for Deli Ali, a goal for Bamiang. It's a great debut for him. David Luiz being caught out a few times, but overall I thought he had a decent game. John Stones, I must give a special mention to as well. I thought he was solid throughout. And yeah, that's a great way to start the season, but could have been a better result. Okay, we have an offer here for Bakary Saka from Southampton, 2.3 million. Now, whilst I did say I was thinking about I was going to sell Bakary Saka. My issue is right now is I don't have the players to cover him right now, so I'm kind of thinking that I stall it until I've signed one of Blind or Ramirez so I can think about it. Because right now it's not a wise decision to sell another player until I've managed to secure another player to sort of replace him. And Right now, I'm waiting for a response from Manchester United about Daily Blind, and it's still unacceptable. So I'm gonna bump it up to 15 million, and I'm running out of time here to pick him up because there's another game coming up in a couple of days' time on the Monday, by the looks of it, and I need to pick him up before then. I need an offer soon, Manchester United. Okay, we got another offer. For Lokilo. I'm going to let him go because I'm not going to use him anyway, but you know what? I'm going to accept it. I'm going to accept 2.3 from Southampton because if I can get the money, I can sign both players and it's what I needed. It's, but come on, Man United. You've got to accept this offer. I'll go against Manchester City coming up. Boy, they're not giving me an easy start. Deli Alley is going nowhere. Two goals in the first game of the season proves that to me already, and I like him anyway. They've accepted the offer for Daily Blind. Okay, 120 grand a week, 20% crucial first team player. Come on, Daily Blind, sign for Crystal Palace. You know you want to. Okay, I've sold him. Sacco has gone to Southampton. Okay, we've got a bit of extra money here, which means we can bring in some more players. But come on, I need to pick him up before then. Lokilo is gone. A couple of press conferences. I've got a transfer off for James MacArthur here from Everton. Bump us up to 4 million. 4 million and you can have him and then I might have to start delving into the free agents market to pick up a couple of players. But come on Man City, can we start, can we at least get a contract offer? No we can't. So we've got, we've got a game against Manchester City right now, and I'm going to play it, and then we're going to try and pick up ourselves up Daily Blint. But let's see how we do against Man City first. Alright, here we go. We've got a game against Manchester City. I've named an unchanged team for this game, so everyone who started the game up against Aston Villa is the same team that's starting today. But let's see if we can pick up another three points. All right, Bamiyang. Friars stopped his run for some reason, but he's going to pick it up anyway. Friars! Oh my god, I should have scored. 
Come on, it's good play. And it's found its way into the bottom corner. That is a brilliantly worked patient goal for Man City and it's a poor defensive display for me. So far this season, I've played two games. I've considered three goals. That is unlike me. The past two years, I've been pretty good defensively. But right now, I'm being torn open because that should not be finding its way into the corner and I should not be giving Cavani that much space. But I'm 1-0 down, right on the brink of half-time. Right, MacArthur. To Zatelia Mans, who does well, plays through. To Giroud. Giroud! Equaliser right before half-time. Split in Man City Open right there with one work past Zatelia Mans, who worked a brilliant way past Zabaleta. He whips it into Giroud, who just slots it home. Zabaleta going for the slide, Zatelia Mans walks past him. Giroud shoots once, falls back to him, he controls it twice and then just pops it into the net right there. Bit of miscommunication between Mangala and Hart right there, but I would take it. It's to one each. And there we go, that is half time. Two goals right on the brink of half time has even the game out to 1-1. One, one. I fall behind to a goal from Cavani, then Giroud equalizes for me. Can my both my strikers pick up a goal in this game and give us three points at the Etihad? Second half, let's find out. Oh my god, how's that got found its way into the net? How the hell has Cavani been able to whip that into the near post? What even happened here? I mean, the game playing through, that's technically an appeal for a penalty in my opinion, but it's fell back to Cavani, who's up on his feet, and a first time volley still in the air, and oh my god, the curl on that. I'm 2-1 down already. Fantastic. All right, Aubameyang is up against Navas here. That's going to be a free kick. Perfect chance to get my substitutions on. Aubameyang, you've got to get in the box, mate. You're quite tall. I'm going to let Kai Kai take this. Okay, I'm just going to whip this in, make it short. It's a good ball in. Falls to Kelly. It's a good first touch. It's a good shot. Still got it, though. Deli Alley, I've still got a chance here. Cross to Balassi. He does really well. And the defender's able to just block that at the last second. Unfortunately, I'm unable to get the equalizing goal. I mean, I do lose the game 2 1. Right at the end, I thought I had a chance. Balassi whipping inside. Tried to cut it back towards Aubameyang. But it does mean I lose 2 1 at the Etihad. It's not the worst result in the world. You know, I can definitely take this sort of loss. I was hoping to go a few more games without losing. But Cavani was too good for me. And we do lose the game 2 1. Let's go about trying to make some transfers. So after that disappointing loss, we do actually have a bit of good news here. Daily Blinds accepted the contract offer, which is absolutely fantastic. It does leave me a bit short on money though. So we are going to be requesting a bit of a uh, budget increase from the board, I think. But this time, not 10 million. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to get that much. I'm going to go with 4 million. It would be just enough to get me some players... And I'm going to say Conference Champions League, semi-final, win the cup. And I'm positive that that 4 million can get me enough money to sign Ramirez, which would be an absolutely great signing, but can I manage to do this? Now, we do have a game in the Europa League coming up, but I'm going to wait until next episode to actually play that game. They're still not giving me the money, which is annoying as hell. And Everton did not match the money I set for MacArthur. So it looks as if Ramirez is going to be a little bit outside our price range. because he's, he's only on 70 grand a week. Can I pick him up for just 8 million? They want 12.5, but if I can get him for 8 million, I have a little bit of money left over. But we're going to have to wait and find out because we're not going to be able to do it this episode. Because I do want to play these qualifying rounds in the Europa League. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. It might be a bit short. I'm not 100% sure. But next episode, we'll be starting the Europa League campaign and also trying to finish our transfers as well. So, I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you have, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in another video.